Hey YouTube, I'm Tycondra Sarah doing another action figure review. Uh, this time we're doing a figure review for more Fortnite figures. Now, I haven't really reviewed too many of the Hasbro 6-inch six inch Fortnite figures. I do have three, I think, at the moment. But I don't think I've reviewed any of them yet. So I believe this is the first one. The only other thing from... The Fortnite Victory Royale series that I have reviewed that is part of the Hasbro lineup was the Upgrade Shark. So I have kind of reviewed that. But this is the first of the actual figures I believe I've reviewed. I have reviewed other 6 inch Fortnite figures but they were the Jazzware stuff. So this time I'm having a look at this guy who I was excited to pick up because he kind of reminds me a lot of uh, the Cobra Agent Firefly. His name is Metal Mouth. So you have includes on the side of the box. It's a box with a small window of the figure in the front. You have the official Fortnite kind of holographic seal in the corner. You got all the legally stuff on the front, or sorry, on the bottom. The box is this kind of weird angle to it. And then on the back of the box, it just showcases the figure holding some of his accessories, and then he has a whole bunch of other legally stuff as well. Uh, the old um, Joy Toy version, or not Joy Toys, uh, the old Jazzwares versions, used to have a small little bio, kind of like a one-liner line from the character, or one-liner about the character. Uh, I believe they did that on the bigger, on the larger figures boxes. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the large figure boxes nearby to double-check that, but I have a feeling that they did do that they had a um whatchamacallit kind of a little blurb for you know a one-liner for the figure so before i get into the figure let me just stand him up at a more neutral position so i can bring in the tape measure and give him a bit of a measuring so this is their six inch line so i bring the tape measure in you can see he actually stands around six and a quarter inches because he's kind of a tall character if I bring in another six inch Hasbro line figure, here is Baroness from the Classified series. Uh, they do kind of stack up quite nicely together. And then for other Fortnite figures, this is the Glow Raptor and this is the Jazzwares figure now. That, so he is a little bit on the shorter side. Um, let's just get him into a bit more natural neutral position so you just stand a little a little smaller than the metal face or metal mouth figure but overall he's not too bad so accessory wise it comes with three well sorry i just do say three but actually four accessories because he comes with the same accessory twice so actually Scratch out, he comes with five accessories, one of which is actually in his holster when you get it. So you get these cool, smashy um, maces, spiked maces, which are pretty cool. They have three spikes on one side and one on the other. And then there's a spike on the top. They're pretty nicely done. He comes with this sniper rifle, which looks like it's designed to be a 50 cal style sniper rifle. The stock is non-movable. The magazine is non-movable and the scope is just painted black. There's no kind of blue for the lens or anything like that. It is sort of a rubbery plastic, so just be wary when bring, getting it out of the box. This can be a little warped, so a little bit of hot water should pop that back into place. Comes with this pretty cool backpack. It's a kind of more realistic backpack to some of the other bling backpacks that the um, other characters have. In fact, if I dig it out... This is the backpack that came with the uh, the Glow Raptor. So and you can see it's a pumpkin with a headphone set on and kind of a glow going through it. So like some backpacks look more realistic than others. This is one a case where it has that kind of look to it. You see there's walkie talkie in one side. It looks like there's either ammo clips for the rifle or something else in the pouches. And then there's like a bedroll type thing on the back, which is kind of cool. And then, as I said, there is one other accessory, which comes pre-holstered. So I just open up the holster. Holster is on the peg. And he comes with this pistol. 
it's nicely done pistol there's actually a, a little hole piece on the front so i'm assuming do i still have it in your bay i may have moved it unfortunately i think i did i had the uh flame effect from or sorry the firing effect from the what's his name is it the hood that um whatchamacallit marvel legends guy the hindu dude with the let see if i can find it now uh it's the guy with the two pistols and kind of a hood i think it's called the marvel's hood but unfortunately i'm not saying it um to try it out uh but it does have a small peg hole from the looks of it on the front or like where the barrel should be it looks like you sh if you have a blast effect you might be able to plug it in unfortunately i haven't seen any blast effects yet for this line so they may be planning to do some or it might be a case that if you have some from other lines like the other from the marvel legends they might actually cross over uh the sniper rifle doesn't have a thing on the front of the pistol and the gun and then just for I have some of the these are the jazzware versions they don't actually have that peg hole either for the weapon so or that kind of plug hole but i'll get into that in a minute so just moving these accessories aside we can get on to the figure so the figure has this cool head sculpt it kind of has a very army of two vibe going on so Camo scheme reminds me a lot of Firefly from Cobra. And then the design look is kind of similar to the characters of the... Is it Rios? And I can't remember the other guy's name from Army of Two. So you have that kind of, you know, armoured tactical vest thing going on. From what I can see, this tactical vest is actually a separate piece. It is uh, made of slightly more rubbery plastic it is a separate piece that has been somehow stretched over the figure so if you were to heat this up you could probably take it off there is a ab crunch but it does get hindered by this uh waist piece the neck i would imagine if you were to take this whole section off the scarf is actually not a separate part or i think it's a separate part to the armor piece so you'd have this very very obscure looking long neck kind of piece going on and the head is on a ball joint the head from what i can see looks like it should be on a double ball joint but i can only seem to get movement on the one side of it but it does get a good range of movement it does you can get it to do a 360 but it just looks a bit awkward because you know neck broken kind of type thing it doesn't kind of you know it, it doesn't move smoothly flat if I grab, uh, uh, probably Baroness is the best one to, option on this. So if you can see the head kind of just swivels on, on the same level, whereas once you start rotating this guy, you have to go at an angle once you get to a certain point on the articulation. He does have butterfly joints. They are hidden inside the torso. He has arms can go all the way around can rotate out that much has a bicep swivel dual jointed elbows he has a swivel and a hinge on the wrist um you have a horizontal for the trigger finger hand on the right side and then you have a vertical on the or sorry uh, yeah a vertical on the and off hand on the left hand just to get those two-handed grips he does hold his rifle quite nicely i'll throw those into his hand in a minute so he does have a waist swivel which is quite nice he can do splits that much again uh he's hindered here with the belt area the belt is a separate piece over this waist but because the straps go down his thigh swivel on his left leg is not too hindered but his forward is a slight bit hindered because of the strap kind of going down. If that wasn't in the way, he'd probably have more clearance to go out. He does have dual jointed knees. He has a boot cut swivel. And then he has rocker ankles. And then he has two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Um, if I can get the stuff from the upgrade shirt set, I might be able to, because that came with skis. And I only have one of them handy, unfortunately. 
which is this one. Uh, these actually have peg holes on them and they are designed for the Hasbro Fortnite figures. So if you have the Upgrade Shark, it comes with a pair of these skis. They do fit onto this figure reasonably well. Other figures, the other figure, I don't think it fits onto the, um, the peg hole is different on these ones. So the Jazzware figures don't really fit too well. You can get them loosely on it, but the peg is actually bigger. I sorry, the peg hole on the foot is bigger than the Hasbro one, so you can kind of lock it in. I think I think I when I got that set initially, I used Jonesy the Jazzwares version. Uh, I don't think they've done a Jonesy for this line yet, but they have some quite cool characters designs for this, and hopefully, as I pick them up, I'll will get around to reviewing them as well. Uh, other leg does have that thigh swivel. Again, it can get a, a little, well, it's not too bad on this, but it's the forward motion is more hindered on this than the back. Uh, because this extra piece just gives it that, you know, it's a bit tight and in, you might overstretch it and could break because of this extra strap piece kind of coming down. So you have that. Again, you still have this rocker ankle and all that. Now, there is a peg on the back. There's also a peg hole on the back of the body. So when you're, it's hard to see because this piece juts out so much, but when you're aligning it, you have to kind of align it right so that it goes all the way in. Because if you don't align this piece right, you'll just sit in, not all the way. It should go further in and then it's plugged in. It's only, it still holds pretty well, even if it's not in both pegs or in both peg holes, but it does fit in. It does have kind of a nice skull pattern uh, on this shoulder, which is, it's actually, excuse me, it's actually a sculpted part. It's not a, it's not a painted on piece. It's actually sculpted onto the shoulder, which is quite nice. It's not just a tempo or a sticker or anything like that. He does hold his weaponry quite nicely. Uh, it looks better if you kind of put his, the kind of this ring into the trigger finger and the the actual hand itself so you can hold it quite nicely it looks like he's about to beat someone to death with these sticks or these maces the sniper rifle itself is quite a nice nice fish so you can get some really nice two-handed poses now you do have to kind of stretch these offhand out a bit it is completely doable but you can get him either holding the sniper rifle quite nicely at ease or you can have him kind of looking down the barrel and you can kind of position the head a small bit to make it look like he's looking down the barrel which is kind of nice so you can do that if you want to swap out other weapons now the only other actual we can dig it out. Where is it? Now, I have the weapon that came with Jonesy. That will fit in his hand quite nicely. And you can fit that into the two hand position, which isn't too bad. I also have a shotgun that came with Raptor. And the shotgun that came with the... This is the shotgun that came with the actual Upgrade Shark set. It is designed for the, the Hasbro figures. So he does hold it quite nicely as well. So it's a pump action style shotgun. Uh, you can angle the hand down a small bit. So you get a more straight on pose with it. Or you can just do two handed. Or sorry, not two handed, single handed. So you have that. This is the one that came with the Raptor, that Glow Raptor comes with this shotgun. What's nice about it is the, even though the weapons are slightly larger, I have a shotgun that's based on this design for one of the Hasbro figures and it's a slight bit bigger. They do still fit quite nicely, so you do have that. Um, but I also have the big heavy machine gun that came with Raptor as well. It's a little bit loose because the trigger guard is a bit smaller, but you can... Get him to kind of hold it loosely enough and it doesn't look too bad. So you have that. Uh, another thing is if you have these weapons, this is one of the 
oversized chapme guns that came on one of those big sprues that look just get this similar, similar to one of these so I'd, I'd imagine even the backpack would fit on this guy because the backpack is overly sized these grenades will if I can just pull one off would probably look okay in his hand let me just have to outstretch his hand a bit so you can get him holding one of these grenades and this mp5 now i did have to modify it a slight bit there was a trigger an actual trigger in the uh, trigger guard but if you wanted to you can give him one of these kind of mp5 guns and a grenade from one of those oversized sprues there is other weapons and things on these chapney sprues i think there's one that comes with like utility tools and stuff like that even these binoculars would probably fit them in fact well i might as well as i have it I'm just i know these are probably not the best fit but they might work just have to stretch reposition his hand a bit so yeah they actually worked not too bad so you can have them looking through pair of binoculars as well so if you have some of those extra accessory trees they do work quite, quite nicely and this is one of the other uh weapons that came with the jazzwares figures that fits him quite nicely as well the only one that seems a little bit loose is that big heavy machine gun um mainly because the triggers the trigger hands on these guys actually have an articulation point so you can actually close it better around the actual grip of the trigger trigger itself but overall they are quite he's quite a nice figure so if i just bring in a few size comparisons even though i've already kind of done it so there's that raptor figure again there's the old baroness again and then if you have it or if you collected them the leonard predator line if you want to sue some crossover uh crossover photos and stuff like that stand him up a bit better so this is the um berserker the super predator from predators he stands a little bit taller than him which isn't too bad the scale does kind of work out and if you have any of the i'm probably going to knock a whole bunch of stuff over bear with me a moment if you have any of the Jurassic Park, or well, it's Jurassic World Amber Collection, the dinosaurs from that one are actually in supposed to be the same scale. So I have Terra Trans on here, mm -mm, and said going to knock everything over. So this should be technically in scale to this guy. So if you have the Jurassic Park, I know I have a couple of the Raptors. Unfortunately, they're not easy to get to at the moment. And then, just for one other size comparison, might as well bring in another Hasbro line, which is the Star Wars Black Series figures. So you can see they do scale up. There's slightly varying scales, but they do scale up quite nicely. So overall, really good figure. I do recommend picking them up. There is some other kind of, as I said, cool figures in the line as well. There's a couple of um, there's a couple of bizarre figures, kind of big chunky figures and then there's uh, a couple of female figures which i want to try and pick up because they look like they could make good stand-ins for dreadnoughts so i might pick them up so i can use them as extra dreadnoughts for zartan the gi joe zartan line so or the classified zartan so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this video review and i hope you found it interesting and entertaining and as always please like comment and subscribe to my channel and i hope you enjoy this video cheers guys